Yesterday was frustrating to say the least after having to wait for my next assignment after delivering even though I delivered early enough that they should have given me my next assignment the night before. I ended up having to get an overweight Parter and Gamble load reworked for the second time in as many weeks. And unlike last week when it didn't take them all that long to rework it, this time it took them over two hours. Well, I try not to let the annoyances like that bother me too much. I always try to take up my cross daily as lovingly as Jesus did. And today we got a long way to go with this load. Gotta go all the way to Edwardsville, Illinois, where I've already been several times because Shriner has a terminal there. And we got over 500 miles to go. So hopefully my 11 hour clock doesn't run out on me. Shouldn't as long as we don't hit traffic. Uh, and we're gonna get to drive through Mississippi the per for the first time today, which is the main reason I'm making a video today. So let's get going. Crossing border, entering Mississippi. Adams, Alcorn, Amai, Natala, Benton, Speed Bolivar, limit reduced to head. Calhoun, Carroll, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Claiborne, Clark, Clay, Coahoma, Copiah, Covington, DeSoto, Forest, Franklin, George Green, Granada, Hancock, Harrison, Hines, Holmes, Humphreys, Isaquina, Itawamba, Jackson, Jasper, Jefferson, Jefferson, Davis, Jones, Kemper, Lafayette, Lamar, Lauderdale, Lawrence, Lee, Lee, Lafleur, Lincoln, Lowndes, Madison, Marion, Marshall, Monroe, Montgomery, Neshoba, Newton, Aksubi, Octibiha, Panola, Pearl River, Perry, Pike, Pontotoc, Prentice, Quinton, Rankin, Scott, Sharkey, Simpson, Smith, Stone, Sunflower, Tallahatchie, Tate, Tippa, Tishomingo, Tunica, Union, Walt Hall, Warren, Washington, Wayne, Webster, Wilkinson, Winston, Yalabusha, Yazoo, 82 counties in Mississippi. as the only states east of the Mississippi that I have still never been to. So far so good today time-wise. As you can see I had to keep my wipers on all morning because of condensation. Even though my death is nowhere near 
now it's not even go 60 again. So I'm probably gonna have to take it to the shop tonight. Luckily, we're we're playing spent tonight at the Edwardsville terminal anyway. And stopping for you know to take my half hour break in 10 minutes. So we'll see if I can identify any problems while I'm there. See if the Qualcomm will tell me anything that it won't tell me while I'm driving. There are a few new fault codes on the Qualcomm. I'm not sure what they mean, but the mechanics will, so I'll just tell them when I get there tonight and they'll be able to figure out whether I need to have any work done before I take my next load. And they did give me my next assignment. It's picking up a relay at the terminal and taking it to Monroe, Ohio. So hopefully I won't have any maintenance delays for that load, but we'll see. God's will be done. Right before I got back on the road, I got a Qualcomm message saying you urgently need to get to a shop because of the engine full of codes. And it said I had a maximum of 200 miles before the serious breakdown was likely to occur. And I was about 170 or so miles from delivery at that time. And now we're about 41 half miles from delivery and we haven't had any warning lights come on since then so looks like everything will hopefully be okay god willing so given that, that message seems to indicate that there is a serious problem it's probably a significant chance that my truck will need to spend the night at the shop, which would mean that I would get to spend the night in a hotel and enjoy an all you can eat breakfast tomorrow, which I certainly would not complain about. Oh, I'd probably have to bring myself to a from the meat because tomorrow's Friday. I'd still be able to eat a lot more than I normally eat for breakfast. Looks like I'm in for quite the ordeal. My truck needs to stay here tomorrow to be repaired because the shop is all booked for tonight. And so they're having me take my next load in this truck. And, and the reason it's gonna be a big ordeal is because this truck has a manual transmission. And I have not driven a manual transmission since I completed training five months ago and have never driven one unsupervised. So I'm really gonna need your prayers to avoid getting into trouble with the stick shift tomorrow. So please pray for me. And of course, I'll keep you in my prayers too. Till next time, God bless.